coming together to remember a remarkable woman, Madam Yelan Wong, the leaders of Taiwan's political and business communities, family and friends. They came for a special ceremony of remembrance for the matriarch of the Wang family and the first lady of Formosa Plastics Group, affectionately known as Big Mother. President Ma Ying Zhou bestowed on Ye Lan a presidential citation in recognition of her role in toiling arduously at her husband's side in establishing FPG and in so doing helping the economic development of Taiwan. As the highest honor Taiwan can give to one of its citizens, it was accepted by Dr. Winston Wong, eldest son of YC Wong. Marrying YC Wong while both were teenagers, Ye Lan was YC Wong's only legal wife, and she devoted herself to her husband's business ambitions and their shared dream of happiness together, remaining married for 73 years until his death in 2008. In a moving tribute, Dr. Winston Wong described Ye Lan as a steadfast beacon of light who was strong, courageous, and an eternal optimist. Yishangqi大妈 Dr. Wong recalled how Ye Lan befriended his birth mother, Yang Chao, and treated her children as her own, growing up in a household that was full of love and sharing. I often Leading the service was the Reverend Wang Siu Kong, who baptized Ye Lan into the Christian faith decades ago. He remembered Sister Ye Lan as being a quiet, honest, and extraordinary woman of few words. In all the eulogies and reminiscences of Ye Lan, her generosity of spirit and humility were constant themes. Through her lifelong commitment of service to others, and the example of sacrifice, she said. She's become, in many ways, a big mother to an entire nation. The leaders who have gathered here today are testament to that. The same presidential citation was bestowed on YC Wong upon his death in 2008, an honor accepted by Dr. Wong on that occasion also. The citation for Ye Lan secures her legacy as one of Taiwan's great unsung heroes. And this service reaffirmed her special place in the hearts of all those who knew and loved her and were loved by her in boundless measure.